Hello, DDP students, and welcome to the second part of the Automata Box assembly. Um, we're now going to insert our cams into the design, and um, we're going to start with our eccentric cam. This may not be the cam that you chose for your specific design. I'm just showing it to you. So I'm going to rotate this in the orientation that um, it 90 degrees. So it's going to go this way. But I need to consider something else when um, looking at these cams here. So what we're looking at is displacement. Displacement is the amount of space between the hole and um, the top of the cam here. So this would be the most minimum displacement, whereas this would be the maximum displacement here. So where I want um, is really for the minimum displacement, for this to be orientated to so the minimum displacement, it's, it's just underneath the follower rod. So I am gonna ascertain, and I'm gonna do this in um, 90 degrees, so it's gonna be 180, that this is the most minimum displacement. So I am going to orientate it this way um, first, okay? So that's something um, that we need to take into consideration. All right, so I'm now going to assemble it. Let's try to find this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the outside hole to the um, axle rod here. So I'm gonna do joint, I'm gonna go in there, get the hole, that right here, the outer ring. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom way in. We're gonna get it on the axle rod. Okay, we do not want that motion. So let's pull it along. And let's get it so it's, oops. Just underneath the cam here. Oops. All right. So the most minimum displacement is facing upwards just underneath the cam, which is centered. Okay, and that's looking good. So I'm going to apply a rigid constraint onto this. All right, and I'm just gonna hit, okay. Now we can bring this down and I'm just gonna bring this down right here. All right, and um, I'm just gonna leave that there for a moment. All right, so let's just repeat this process. I'm gonna do this with the hard cam because there's different displacement and different um, for different cams. Okay, let's bring this up over here. And we're going to do it. Maybe on this. I'm going to set that. Okay, I'm going to zoom way in. All right, so I didn't um, orientate this for, um, just go negative, I'm just gonna try a negative four, let's try a negative three, let's try a negative point three, two, wait, two, five. All right, that looks better. All right, so this is centered. Um, but we don't know the minimum displacement yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this follower down. So it's just on top of it. I'm sure there's a more savvy way of figuring this out, but as this turns, I can see that um, there's more space here, right? So I'm gonna keep lowering that. 
and I'm going to turn it. Let's get a little lower. And we just want to make sure that the top is not coming through because this will come through like that. That is not doing that. So this here looks about to be the most minimum displacement on this shape right here. If it goes back up towards the top of it, it's going to rise because of the, um, the bump of the hard. And then the tip of this here is also going to make it rise. So I think this is the flattest um, part and the, the, the least amount of displacement. So I'm just going to leave that there. All right. Um, oops. But when I did that, today should be. So that's looking good. So what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to go to assemble, enable contact sets. I'm then going to. Oh no. Let's see. Hopefully um, it's gonna, this isn't, this um, follower's in two parts. Okay. And then, oh, oh, sorry. We're gonna go to, um, sorry. Once we go to enable all contact, uh, new contact set, we're gonna go to, so yeah, we're gonna go to new contact set. There we go. Royally screwed that up. Okay. So now we're going to go to assemble new contact set. We're going to do the same thing for this. Okay. We're going to hit okay. Let me actually, let me redo this. Just because I want to make sure this is done absolutely perfectly. So I'm just going to leave this here. Okay. That looks fine. I'm going to go to assemble, enable, enable contact sets. sets. That's the first thing that we do. Then we go to assemble, new contact set. We do that. We do this. Okay. We hit okay. Now we're going to go over here. Let's raise this up. We're going to do assemble, new contact set. We're going to... And then that's all we need to do for that. And we're going to do that and that. We're going to hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the slider joint. You could either find it here in the joints, OK, with slider, right click, and edit joint limits. And for this, we're just going to mess with the rest part right here. And I'm going to just mess with this to find out where this is. OK, so we're going in the right direction. What we want is for this to be kind of down in there. I know this doesn't make much sense, but you know what? Maybe we'll just go with that. OK, once I do. It's just going to pop right back up there. I'm going to go to slider eight here. Edit joint. Edit motion limits. Okay. Go to rest. And let's just see what, what this is. I'll just do minus one. Nope. Wrong direction. Let's try three. Too much. Let's try 1.5. Okay. Let's try one. So let's just take a look at this. It's about where it was. So I'm going to do 1.25. So it's kind of in there. Cool. So that that's fine. I'm going to hit OK. All right, cool. I think that's all we need to do. We're going to go to our Revolut. And it all works. It's a little choppy, but it is works, and that's how we assemble all of our stuff here. So what you would do next is you would um, do the creative part where you would attach the theme or idea or concept and make it work with the motion of the followers by attaching things. 
to the followers themselves. Okay, so that's the last step of this to put it all together that way. So we have all the important stuff here. Um, now you just need the creative part. All right, that's that.